Now in this video we'll talk about the last type of subqueries which are subqueries returning multiple columns. So these subqueries will essentially return a table. Now we will be able we'll return more than one row and this is going to result in creating a temporary table. We can use this temporary table in the from clause, we can use it in the where clause and we can use it in the join clause. So we will essentially join this table with whatever table we're dealing with to uh, get some kind of resulting data. Let's see some examples on this. So if I say show all the books with maximum retail in each category. So I need to first get the maximum retail for each category and then I'll need to get the titles of those books. So if we uh, visualize this, it's going to be like having two tables, one table having the categories with maximum retails, and then our books table, and we will join those two tables together to get whatever result we're looking after. So let me first go ahead and write the query that is going to give me the results of categories along with the maximum retail. So I'll say select category comma max and in max I'll say retail and to be able to uh, group those with the categories I will say um, group by category after I say from books group by category Now I'll just change the name of this to allow me to use the column name in the query because I'll need this column name. I, I will pretend as if this is a table that already exists in my database without having to create this table in my database. So I'll say give me this as uh, max retail. So this is going to be how my column is displayed. Okay. Now, supposing that I have this table in the database, I'll just need to join them, but I don't have this table in the database, so I'll keep it as a subquery in my uh, outer query. So I will have to surround it with parentheses. Now, I will need to use table aliasing for this specific query because I will need to use category, and if I don't, it's going to be uh, an ambiguous situation with the column so I will call it MR pretending that this table is called MR for maximum retail uh, you will see why I need this in a minute now uh, returning back to my other query which asks me to get the title retail and category for those books so I'll just get those from the books, books table so select title and retail and the category from books. Okay. Now I will have to specify if this category column is coming from this table or coming from MR which I just created. So I'll say from books and I will refer to books as B and then I'll say B dot category. Another reason I'll need this is I'm joining those two tables essentially. Remember if we have a comma between uh, tables then this is a join. I don't need a Cartesian join so I'll need to have some kind of filtration. So I'll say where B dot category is going to be equal to MR which is the table I just created virtually dot category and remember the column I just renamed I will need to use this column. Why? Because the retail of the book that I'm getting from the books table has to be the maximum retail in that cat category. So I'll say and retail is equal to M or max retail. I can say mr.max retail, but since I don't have any other column that's called max retail, so I'll just say max retail. Again, I can just say mr.max retail, but I don't have to. So if I run this query, now I got all of those books, and if you notice, in each category I have only one book, and the retail of that book is the maximum retail 
in that category. So this is essentially listing the title and retail and category for the highest priced book or the most expensive book. Now this is an example of a subquery in the from clause. Let's look at a subquery in the where clause. So I want to display the title, retail, and category of books that have the highest retail in each category. Same thing I'm doing right here. So let me just delete this. And um, I will uh, have this in my where clause. So I'll say select title, retail, and category. from books and now I want to use it in my read in my where clause so I'll say okay so if you have the retail and the category in this set so if the retail that you get is present in this set and the category is present in this set which is basically my subquery select Category. So this is the same um, subquery that we did previously. And max retail from books group by category Maybe I need to just flip those category Retail. Now, I just need to reverse the order because I have them in one order here. So they have to be in the same order in here. So as long as I have this this first column and the first column, second column, and the second column, then I will be able to display it. If you flip them, it's not going to work because it's going to look for category and max retail and it's going to look for max retail and category. And that is not going to work. Now it's not going to work in terms of not producing any data. It's not going to be a syntax error though. There is another solution where you can divide this table into two subqueries and looking for category in one and for retail in the other one. But essentially both of them will give you the exact same result. Now let's look at another query that is going to work in the join clause. So um, the inner query will extract the average retail of each category in this case, and the outer query will join it in the from clause to the books table, and will use the inner query as a temporary table. Uh, if this doesn't make sense, now it should make sense when I start to type it. So what I want to do is I want to display the title, retail, and category, and then I want to display the average retail for that specific category with those books. So I'll say select title, retail, and category, and then what I want to do is I have a column that is not in that table, but it's going to be in my other table. So I'll say average. So I don't have any column called average, but I will create it in the table that I'm create. I'll, I'll be creating in my subquery, and I want this average to be displayed as let's say average retail. This is just to make the column names make sense from books. Now, average is not there anywhere in books. So I need to join books table with another table that has a column called average. And what I will do is I will just create a subquery or write a subquery that's going to give me a data set that's going to look like a table. And then I will use that data set. So I'll say, okay, join this with this subquery. So the subquery is select category and then the average retail for that category as average 
Now see this average right here? It is this column right here. I don't have it anywhere, but I'll have it in this uh, subquery. And this is what's going to help me. Now this subquery is not complete, so this is going to be from books. And then I will have to group by, use group by because um, if I don't, it's going to give me an error. So group by category because I'm doing the average for each category. If I don't, it's going to it's not gonna work because I have more than one column and one of them is doing some kind of equation. If I don't use group by, this is going to be a syntax error. Now let me call this any name. I can use it any name because I'm joining a table, so let me call it AV. And then I'll say since both of them have a similar column, which is category that's present in both columns, I can just do using category. And if you go back to uh, inner join, you will see that we can use other types of join with uh, this query. So now I get all of my books and then I get the average retail for that category. Now, again, the category is repeated because I'm displaying every single book in my database, displaying the retail, displaying the category. So the first three columns are coming from the books table, but this column is coming from a V table, which we just created by this query. Again, this is the same as saying create table AV as this query right here and then using the join with the AV table but I don't need to create this and write it into my database I can just have it virtually there and then use the join with the subquery and this concludes it for subqueries